Hey, Mike here with uh, Mike Stuff Repair. And just a quick word on some of the things I've just found out about the uh, CRT discharge tool. Basically, I have a old CRT TV that I need to work on. Um, it's 120 volt as I live here in the US. Um, those old TVs, they maintain the charge within their ray tubes that needs to be discharged, similar to how a capacitor works. Also similar to how a capacitor works, to discharge those, I will actually need to go ahead and short it, essentially, which is um, connect the positive and the negative together, which will discharge any current power with inside of it. The easiest way to do so is to actually use an old screwdriver with a plastic or rubber handle, um, something insulated, and a wire attached to it that I'm then attached where I'm using the screwdriver in the positive side and connecting. Um, the negative side to it. And for added safety, I'll be adding rubber gloves as well. Now, to make this discharge tool, you'll need an old screwdriver, again, with rubber handle, cable, and electric tape. And then, of course, something to actually snip the cables with. So, a pair of uh, wire clippers or whatever you got will work just fine. And first, you'll start off just by stripping about two inches off the end of the cable that you got. Um, cable, you want to make sure it's about 16 inches long. Doesn't really, length doesn't matter too much. Once you got it stripped off, just wrap the blank end of it around the screwdriver as often as you can. Just as such. And then you'll just take the electric tape and wrap it around the screwdriver until it's all um, covered up and then from there just strip the last the end piece of the cable and you will be left with an unstripped end of that cable essentially there's no better word of saying it uh, when I'll go through to take care of my TV I'll go ahead and show you guys how to use this tool but essentially you'll be just um, taking the negative side put it to the ground spring and stick the screwdriver itself into the vacuum tube of the cathode um, tube on the TV. Uh, you will hear a pop, or you might not hear anything, but that'll have the whole TV discharged. Um, you see me here, just kind of finishing up, creating some sort of hook to be able to attach to that ground spring. You can probably go ahead and use an alligator clip or something. I don't really plan on repairing these TVs very often, so this one guy here will be uh, good enough for me. So here's what you can see what it looks like. Again, just a simple screwdriver with a cable. It'll take care of what you need to do. Um, I'll show you guys how to use this in my next video. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, and hit that bell for notifications as to when that video is coming up. Thank you guys for watching.